boxer's name Mickey, isn't it, <laughs> tonight? I've seen both these boys before. Yeah, as I say, I mean, Coveney, Coveney's a real good, honest bro. He yeah, always yeah. comes to fight. He'll be on the front foot for the whole fight. He'll be looking to take the fight to Vasilev. Looking Vasilev, forward to it. Vasilev, as I say, I've seen him on the circuit a few times. International um, Masters title, great. Yeah. Going to be good. Should, should be good, should be good. Second down, first round. Got to keep things nice and tight in this round, Mickey. He needs to, after he does his work, he needs to bring his bring his hands back to his head, protect his head. Don't get too lazy. He can't afford to get lazy early on in the fight. Good little start from Coveney so far. Not, don't seem too, too afraid to let his hands go. Vasilev's not too fussy at the moment. You know, he's, he's, he's pretty content to just cover up and take the shots. But that's an impressive start from Mickey so far. Good body shots there. Another good body shot. Two. Three. That's good work. I'm impressed by Coveney's start. How long will they have done intense training for, for a night like tonight? Um, well, I believe Mickey, Mickey last boxed um, mid-August uh, over in Ireland when he won the Irish Super Featherweight title. So he would have probably had a couple of weeks out. He would have probably had a good six weeks for this, to be honest. Maybe, you know, the first couple of weeks back training would have been pretty easy. It would have been a bit of stamina work, stuff like that. But certainly the last month, it would have been pretty intense. You know... So, I mean, I train with Mickey, see him in the gym on a regular basis. He trains twice a day, comes in, does his gym work with Martin and then runs in the evenings. You know, it's, it's a tough gig, especially when you've got a day job as well, which a lot of these boxers have, you know. Hard workers, aren't they? You know, if you want to get to any sort of level in this game, you've got to be prepared to put the work in. It's yeah. all about what you do in the gym, you know. It's an old boxing cliche, but if you train hard, you fight easy. And it's all about the work that you do, you know. You could get the most talented boxer in the world if he's not fit more often than not nine times out of ten the fitter boxer will beat the talented boxer you know because unfortunately or fortunately whatever way you look at it it's uh it's all about fitness this game it really is talent can only take you so far if you're not fit so again good start from mickey vasilev he's, he's working in in little spits and spurts um but you know more solid start made by Coveney, to be honest. Heads. The heads was coming quite close there. They're going to have to be careful, obviously. You've got the orthodox fighter in Vasilev and the southpaw fighter in Coveney. Sometimes what happens is when you've got the lead feet crossing over like that, there can be a clash of heads sometimes. So they're both going to have to be careful of that. They come close a few times, but that's something they're going to have to watch for. And Jess, what are you thinking of that round? No, I, I, was, just, I was just wondering, Frank, whether these, whether these two fighters would actually know one another away from the ring. I, I wouldn't have thought so, to be no. honest with you. They, they may well have come, in, have come across each other. Uh, on, if they've both been on the same show or something like that, but I wouldn't have thought they know each other. They, they've got a couple of common opponents. Um, the guy that Mickey boxed last time out, Finn Barid, that, that Mickey won, beat for his uh, super featherweight title, has also boxed Vasilev. Now, Finn Barid beat Vasilev and Mickey beat Finn Barid. Again, I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean that because it has beaten quite a beat. They know one another. You know, but they, know, they, do, they do their homework on one another, don't they? they yeah, of course yeah. they do, yes. Yeah, they, they would have looked each other up on YouTube. Google. Yeah, they would have Googled each other. Google definitely. them up. Yeah. A little bit like I did with you, Jess, before the day started. <laughs> Strange you should say that. I did that with you too. Thank you very much. Oh, it's good left hook from Vasilev there, just forcing Mickey to cover up a little bit. Looks like he took it okay to me, though. Well, I mean, he's certainly here to win this fight, Vasilev. He's, he's not coming here to lay down. No. Let's face it, another good fight. 
Yep, so far. We've had three really competitive fights. One a little bit, not so much, but... Absolutely. You know, very close fights, all of them. Fighters get known for certain moves. Yeah, certainly, you know, some people do. Obviously, you had David Hay with his big overhand right that he was called the haymaker, you know. Um, yeah, you get you get certain fighters that have a particular punch that they look for. Um, I mean, you know, to me, it's, it's all much of a muchness. If you've got a good right hand, you throw it. If you haven't, you don't, you know. And we had Frank Bruno here earlier on tonight, which was fantastic, supporting the event. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, big Frank, he was known for having a round rod jab and a massive overhand right, you know. So people do remember fighters, honey punches, as we like to call them. But, um, you know, everyone's different. Some fighters are good on work rate alone. Some fighters are busy, busy, busy. Some fighters have got slick skills, good head movement, you know. It's all different types, all different styles, and the beauty of boxing is you can get two undercard fights, like what we had the first two fights. Yeah. Um, if they're evenly matched, you can get good fights. You know. So, as I say, it's all about levels. I mean, again, this one here is starting. It looks like it's going to be a decent tear up to me. Yeah. You know. He's mm. really going for it now. Yeah, he's probably going to back off now. He's going to go for a little rest. Mickey's going to get on the front foot. You know. Again, I, I'd like to see Mickey just tighten things up, just get his hands a little bit tighter after he's throwing. If you're watching there, he's doing his work and he's just not quite getting them hands back to the chin. And that's when Vasilev is stepping forward, letting two and threes go, and he's getting some success. Maybe even like to see Mickey straighten up the left hand a little bit. He's throwing it, he's looping it in a little bit. I'd like to see him straighten it up and try and throw it straight through the middle of Vasilev's guard. See how Vasilev's got his hands tight to his head there. Mickey needs to throw it straight left. In the middle. Straight through the middle of the glove. Yeah. At the moment, he's throwing it a little bit like an overhand left. And Vasilev is just blocking the shots. Woo! Oh, he just kissed him. Is that normal? <laughs> Is that a kiss on the cheek? Uh, I think he was apologising for catching him after the bell. Oh, just, okay. He, he just just for a shot, just a fraction of a second after the bell went there. So oh, okay, that was just his apology. Yeah, oh, yeah. fair fighting, we like that. I loved it. Tell me, Frank, do, do boxers, once they start fighting, look for a name to be called? You know, like uh, like Billy Walker was the, the blonde bombshell. and. Uh, yeah, I mean, I think I think some of these things are bestowed on them by the press, and they just stick. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm, I'm sure you've had various nicknames in your time, Jesse. Yeah, I, I, I was the golden boy of the sixties, so that, that's what they called me. Uh, but but I, I should imagine being a, a boxer, it's great to have that kind of name because the, you become famous more for the name, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Than your real name. Of course you do. Yeah, I mean. So, unfortunately, over the last few years, boxing hasn't had the press coverage that it probably deserves. Uh, yeah. So, you, you know, we, we don't quite get the fighters in the public eye like we used to. But, you know, there's some real good pros out there. Boxing's going through a bit of a revival. And hopefully, if things like tonight's event on sportface.tv carry on, you know, we can we can start to get these boxers back into people's front rooms. And let's get some of the nicknames out there. Yeah, the nicknames, that's it, yeah. And not only in their front rooms, they could be watching this anywhere right now on their mobile phones. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, so if you are viewers at home watching it anywhere bizarre, do uh, Twitter us. You can uh, tweet Frankie right here, um, which is at Frank Greaves on Twitter. We yep. want to hear from you. We've had a few come through tonight. I thank you for your tweets. I uh, had a couple of questions come in. And you can email me on jessconrad.hotmail.com <laughs> or look me up on www.jessconrad.com You had to get there in that, that in there, Jess, yeah, didn't you? Yes. That was a good right hook. Jess Conrad at hotmail.com. Need a wonderful singer out there in the world. I'm your man. I shall sing you my lovely hits like Be Bop Alula and Johnny Be Good and Halfway to Paradise. Now it's great to be here watching these boys. What dedicated people they are, these boxers. It's really a fantastic sport and uh, they really earn their money and uh, they excite the audiences and now they're being shown uh, all over the world. It's, it, it's such, a, such a great thing for these uh, 
these boxes to, to get to get uh, a wider audience. It's uh, really fantastic, and we're at the beginning of a wonderful, new, exciting era uh, in, the, in this sort of thing. You know, it's, it's really fantastic. Frank, how are they getting on in the ring? Yeah, again, I mean, so far it looks like a very evenly matched fight. They're both having their successes. Um, you know. Vasilev seems to be having a little bit more success in this round than what he had done previously. But I think that's more due to Mickey's sloppiness, to just, you know, due to Kovny's sloppiness rather than Vasilev's good work, you know. To say Mickey's just letting his shots go and he's being a little bit lazy with the defence. Good work from Coveney there. See, now I'd like to see him take a step back, just go regain his composure and start again, rather than just trying to stay in Vasilev's face all the time. You know, he landed four or five punches there. Just take a step off, go for a walk around the ring, get your composure yourself, rather than staying in there and run the risk of making a mistake. So there's some good work there. I mean, he's, he's putting Vasilev under good pressure there, and, and that, that was a nice sign there. Vasilev took a walk there, looked like he wanted to go, just get a breather himself, you know, maybe just first signs that he might be starting to struggle at the pace. End of another round. Yeah, fantastic. Strangely enough, I don't sniff a knockout in this fight. It's funny, isn't it? I just think it'll be a, a points decision. I don't see a knockout. I could be wrong, but uh, I just have one of those feelings that I don't see a knockout here. I'm not professional, I can tell they, well, they've, they've sort of met their match, haven't they? They've oh yeah, yeah, it's very even. Well, I, I, I think the, uh, I think um, Mickey, uh, Mickey's on top, I think. Yeah, for me, for me, Mickey's a round up at the moment. We've yeah. had three. Um, you know, I think Vasilev possibly sneaked a round in there, maybe the second. Um, but yeah, to, to me, I think Mickey's a round up. After three, I'll give two to Kovny and one to Vasilev. I think he's a round up. And how does the scoring work in, in boxing for people at home that don't know, and people like me? <laughs> well, I mean, they have a thing called uh, a 10-point must system, which the winner of each round must score, must be scored 10 points. By the judges. So if Coveney wins the next round uh, and he doesn't score any knockdowns or he doesn't win it by an absolute landslide where the other guy doesn't land a single punch and Mickey lands 50, um, he'll win the round 10 points to 9 points. If he scores a knockdown, he'll gain an extra point. So it'll be 10 points to 8 points. So it's a 10-point must system. Brilliant. You know your stuff, Frank. We've got the right man on the job. <laughs> I'll try my best, but I'm making most of it up, to be honest. Good little exchange there. Some good hooks on the inside from Mickey. So he just needs to keep those hands nice and tight. Nice and tight. See, now again there from Mickey. He let his hands go, he let three or four go, which is what you want from your fighters, but just wants a bit more variety. Little bit of stuff up the middle there, maybe bring in the odd uppercut. Vasilev's hands are very tight to the sides of his head there. He's very open up the middle. He's not prepared to throw anything back. He's, he's content to just sit there and cover up. That's where Mickey needs to bring the shots up the middle. Bring the uppercuts in, then bring the hook through. Try and move the hands, try and create the openings to land the shots. And that's a little bit better from Mickey there. Free punch combination and then it's just slipped out of range. Just made Vasilev miss with a counter. That's what he needs to be doing. Twos and threes, step off, make Vasilev miss and then go back and start again. Each encounter should be, forgetting previously what's happened, step forward, start again from scratch. Every time you step away, every time there's a break, you step back to start again. And it's all ad lib, it's not like a script. Anything can happen. Oh, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. I mean, some fighters obviously work to a game plan. I would assume uh, that Mickey's working to a particular type of game plan to yeah. that they would have worked on in the gym, him and Martin together for the set now that looked at this kid on YouTube. Um, you know, it, it, he's probably going to be throwing particular shots that he feels that Vasilev is more susceptible to. It seems to me like he's done a lot of work to the body so far, so yeah. maybe they think he's a little bit fragile around the body. Um, but as I say, certainly the better work has come from Mickey. For me, he's been a little bit lackadaisical with the defence, and that's that's what's allowed Vasilev to land the shots. 
but you can always expect the unexpected in fight the fight game, can't you? That's the beauty of boxing, just Absolutely. expect the unexpected. Yeah, you never know what's going to occur. Yeah, would, uh, would the Boxing News be covering this? I, I would have thought so, yeah. yeah. They, they usually send someone around to every show. They'll, they'll be a write-up on this show uh, in next week's Boxing News. comes out on Thursday. Yeah. And they get reviewed like, like the entertainment business, yeah, don't they? Yeah, yeah exactly. That's, that's what it is. That's what this game's all about, entertainment. For me there, that's another company round. Yeah, that's another company round. Yeah. You see Natalie, actors get reviewed in a, in a magazine called The Stage and Television Today. And boxers have, have uh, boxing news. Uh, is, what's The Ring? That's more American, isn't it? The Ring? It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah you've got The Ring, which is American. Over here we have Boxing Monthly and Boxing News. Uh, we've got Box Rec, which is an online site that has all the boxers' records there. They usually do reviews of most of the shows. Um, Hatton TV. Yeah, you've got Hatton TV on YouTube. There's, there's lots of stuff now. I mean, it's, it's really, really is starting to, to get popular again, boxing, which for me is a great thing. And you remember your good old days of boxing, when your mum got in with that handbag, as you were telling us earlier. <laughs> yes. And, of course, um, uh, the early days of, of my dear lovely friend Henry Cooper who also boxed for, for the Fitzroy Lynn and uh, he was a wonderful wonderful human being and uh, I think of him every day he was uh, uh, a, a brother water rat uh, I'm a water rat which is like um, a showbiz fraternity and he was also a member of the Variety Club Golfing Society we played we made raised lots of money together for charity and he was a wonderful human being and uh, he would he would be at a night like this because he was a great fight fan. He used to come and support, uh, and he would love this uh, internet business. The f fact that it was you know giving young fighters uh, a showcase all over the world. Now it's been a great night. I've enjoyed myself. It's been fantastic. I had some great fights, and the audience have been wonderful. You can see, you can feel the excitement in this room. Another tight start to the round here. Again, you know, it, it, it following a similar pattern. You know, Mickey's working, doing some quality work there, throwing some good body shots, and then it's just letting Vasilev come in, just letting him come back into the fight, just being a bit lax with the defence again. You know, if I've got a, if I've got a criticism of Kovni, sometimes it's, it can be a little bit one paced It just tends to keep plodding forward, plodding forward, throwing the same sort of combinations, body, body, head, all the time. You know. Really needs to have a little bit more variety in his work, and possibly would, would be a lot better for him in a fight like this tonight. You know, it's just constantly there in Vasilev's face all the time. He needs to let his punches go, step off to the side, maybe spin off, create an angle, and then come back in from a different side. You know, let his punches go, step round, tip it round his front foot, and throw his own left hand over the top. Two good headshots there, partially blocked by Vasilev, but again, I think Nick is edging around, you know, seems to be on the front foot for most of the time. Good work from Nicky there, good double jab left hand. Good body shot, good left hook to the body there from Kovnik. Absolutely fantastic right hands to the body going in from Vasilev there. I was absolutely captivated. That was just above us and uh, I almost lost myself there with the commentary. I was just watching to see Mickey's reaction there. It really sunk in some good right hands to the body there. Mickey took a big gasp of out. I think a couple of them got through and they might have hurt Mickey. They're, they're going to hurt him later on in the fight. If this fight goes long, he can't keep taking body shots like that. They got the next day, they must be just aching so much. Oh, you know, I mean, for the next couple of days after this, they'll, they'll literally be black and blue all over. They'll be wow. sore. It'll be an effort to get out of bed, to be honest. Again, tight, tight, tight round there. I mean, you know, I, I might even have edged that one towards Vasilev for the quality body work there. I mean, there was three unanswered right hands to the body there that clearly troubled Coveney. The rest of the round was pretty tight. I think I think I'd edge that one towards Vasilev, which for me just puts Mickey a point up after five. Round six, final round. 
Uh, no, this is a 10, this one. This is 10 round. Ten round yeah. Fantastic. 10 rounds. 10 round. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a title fight, you see. It's for an uh, international master's title. It's so they have to go 10 rounds because it's, it's a title fight. It's, when you think about it, Frank, it's, uh, you know, 10 rounds, a long time, huh? Three minutes each round. No, the level of stamina, fitness, the level of fitness of these boys really is for incredible. me. Incredible. You know, when you discount these super endurance athletes, you know, the guys that cycle 28 miles, swim 10 miles, and then do a 10K run, that's a different sort of endurance. This, where you've got someone in front of you hitting your back, I mean, it's absolutely, they have to be so fit, it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. They really do, I mean, you know, people that have never tried it, I implore you to go down to your local boxing gym, just put on a pair of gloves and just hit your back for a minute and you'll have a newfound respect for boxers. It's a good start of the round to Vasilev here again. Started well, throwing some good right hands in there. Looks like he's having a go in this round. He's, he's troubling Mickey at the moment. Good right hand there from Vasilev. Uh, he, this is his best round of the fight so far for me. Mickey's cut there. Yeah, I think Mickey's cut over his left eye. Yeah, it could put pay to his prize fighter ambitions, but you know we'll have to have a look. The corner will have a look. We'll see how bad it is. Not bad. Black eye, blood. I don't think it was a head. I think it was a punch. Yeah, he's just walking onto too many right hands for me at the moment. Too many right hands. So that's probably what calls that punch. You can hear the count corner there shouting, step round, step round. They're, they're trying to get Mickey to step round to his right hand side, away from Vasilev's right hand. So get, Mickey wants to step away to his right, away from Vasilev's right. Yeah, 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 but yeah. As I say, at the moment, he's just standing in front of him for just too long. Referee wants the corner to have a look at the cut. They're going to get anything it. can happen. You see, now this could be stopped, Absolutely. and he's on top. Yeah. I mean, I, I wouldn't think they'll stop it. To me, no, no. It looks like the cut's below the eye. He's not going to have any trouble there with blood running into the eye. Should be absolutely fine. The referee obviously just wants the corner to wipe it over, so we can have a look and inspect yeah. it, see where, see how bad it is. Yeah, yeah. A little bit of a swelling under there makes oh, yeah, it look a little nasty. bit worse, but you know, it probably looks worse than it is. Once the swelling goes down, the cut will close up. But the ref is is entitled to stop the stop stop it just so that the corner can have a look at it and patch it up. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, any time the referee can call a halt, call a halt to the action, get the corner to wipe the cut down so they can have a look. If he thinks this, you know, potentially a fight stopping cut, there'll be a doctor at ringside. He'll get him to inspect the cut, ask for his opinion, and they'll come to a decision before the referee decides what to do. The protection for boxers now is much better than it ever was. Absolutely, we've got anaesthetists sitting ringside, we've got oxygen, we've got uh, brain surgeons ringside, they instantly know what to do, they know what all the signs are. You know, fortunately, touch wood, you know, we haven't had, we haven't had an accident for a long time, and long may that continue. Another good round there for Vasilev. To me, that makes the fight all level after six. I've got three rounds apiece. Knockouts, how dangerous is that on their health for a boxer's health? Um, you know, I mean, any 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 head impact has got the potential to be dangerous. Um, you know, I could fall over in the head on the side of the bus, and it's got the potential to be dangerous. Generally speaking, uh, these are fit guys; they're in good condition. It doesn't really affect them. I mean, a lot of a lot of fighters that suffer damage, a lot of them will suffer that caused in. Uh, too much sparring in gyms where they'll have, they'll have fights in gyms that are sometimes harder than the fights that they have on the night. 
for me, you know, boxing's moved on, the, the, the technology of the gloves, the protection's moved on, even the gum shields. The gum shield has, plays a massive part in protecting the boxers from me. With the modern plastics and polymers that they use in these gum shields, they, they, they act almost like mini shock absorbers. It, it's like a little bit of suspension for the mouth. So when you take a, when you take a clean punch on the chin, the teeth, and it absorbs the shock of the shot. So there's a lot more protection for the fighters now. And the ref stop fights earlier now than yeah, they used to. Yeah, I think they do, yeah. Again. Yeah, they do, yeah. yeah. Or in your case, it was your mum that stopped the fight. <laughs> <laughs> With her handbag. Oh. Absolutely cracking right hand from Vasilev there. He's on unsteady legs, Mickey. On very unsteady legs. He's going to struggle to get through this round now. He's going to have to look to hold on. He's going to have to look to hold on and weather the stomp now. Not see that coming. No, as I say, the lot I've given the last couple of rounds for Vasilev. He's done some good work. Um, you know, Mickey was just in front of him for too long. He needs to tuck up now, Mickey, and step forward. Step forward and hold on. Hold him round the waist, round the arm, round the head. He needs to just hold on, grab on, or work, walk away. He doesn't want to be engaging Vasilev in a fight at the moment because his his legs are going to be weak. He's not going to have much purchase in his own punches. And that cut on Mickey's eye is really starting to open up now, isn't As I say, it? Fortunately, it's underneath the eye. So the bad ones are when they're on the eyelid or they're above the eye. So the blood runs into the eye and it obscures vision. the vision. So at the moment, that's in a safe place. It's, it's not really going to be bothering Mickey too much. Okay. As I say, I mean, he looks, he looks like he's starting to get a little bit of bounce back in his, his, own, his own steps there. Vasilev done a lot of work trying to get him out. Um, tough, tough round for Coveney so far. Good right hand to the body again from Vasilev. It's amazing. He was out on his feet there, but he's, he's back. He's focused. Yeah. Uh, you know, the strength of this boxer, the resolve of this boxer. He was out there. You could see his eyes went. Now he's back in it. It's, it's absolutely They're resilient, amazing. aren't they? It's That's, amazing. It's testament, Jess and Natalie, to, to their fitness. It's the work that they do in the gym. Um, you know, I mean, Mickey will get up and he'll run for miles every day. He'll come down the gym. He'll do work on his leg strength all the time. He's squatting and squat jumping and plyometric jumping. They're constantly skipping. They're doing work on their legs every day. So when you get hit like that, you know, it sends shockwaves through the entire body. The legs go, hence you fall over. But it's their fitness and their leg strength that allows them to get back up. There's only one thing for sure. He won't be dating a bird tomorrow to start his boat race. I think you'll be happy to just have a rest. Yeah. But again, I mean, this so far to me, he's come back into the round well, Coveney. Come back into the round well. I mean, to say, it does, it does come train on, hard. Mickey, you're back, son. He, he, just as I say, just a little bit one dimensional. To me, he's just walking forward in straight lines and he's allowing Vasilev to just get his work off now and then move off. Vasilev's going to throw a two and a three punch, jab straight down, move off to the side. Mickey's just a little bit one dimensional. He just went to his corner then to say, I'm okay. Amazing. Do you know what? Fighters, they're either the bravest people in the world or the biggest bluffers in the world, you know? That's true. Uh, I've seen people that are virtually knocked out cold and they'll get up on unsteady legs and say to the referee, ref, I slipped, it was a slip, you never hit me. You know, it's all it's all sometimes gets a bit macho and they and they try and show that they're tougher. Yeah, you know? Full of Bellani, as they say. Something like that. Yeah. As I say, I'm sure they're very concerned in the Coveney corner, they're gonna be working furiously on that cut. Vasilev to me, you know, he's breathing quite heavy. I'm watching him there. He's breathing quite heavy. The ref, uh, uh, the the corner team there, they're helping him breathe. He's, he's having to work hard. That's one thing about Mickey. I mean, to say, he can be a bit one-dimensional, but he's in your face constantly. He'll make you work virtually for every second of the round, which is what he's doing. You know, fortunately, he just walked onto that right hand in that last round there, and he lost it by 10-8 for me. So that puts him two points down now. So Frank, who do you reckon you're going to be interviewing at the end of this? Well, I'd love to say Coveney, to be honest with you, because I'm not sure how good uh, Vasilev's English is. But <laughs> at, 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 at the moment, you know, it's just like Mickey, he was floored quite heavily in that last round. He got up on unsteady legs. It certainly wasn't a flash knockdown. Um, but he came back into the round and finished the round really well. He really did finish the round well after a knockdown like that early in the round. So, And at the moment, it looks like he's getting the upper hand again. So he's just got to keep things nice and tight, nice and tight. 
Frank, you, 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 you couldn't be 100% now watching this fight. Who's going to win, could you, really? No, no, absolutely not. So, so, I mean, there's, some, there's some good work from Mickey in this round. He's made a good, good start to the round. He's stepping off a little bit to the sides. He's not coming forward in the straight lines that he was before. We've still got three rounds to go. Yeah, they have. Yeah, yeah, we're into the eighth now. And we've got nine and ten after this. But for me, Mickey needs at least two of these next three rounds. At least two of these next three rounds. He's winning this one. He's winning this one so far. So it's a good start to the round for Mickey for me. So you say the other fighters really let him off the hook a bit? Well, you know, I, I don't know whether his own fitness has come into play. He threw a lot of punches in that last round after he threw, after he threw a Kofi. Sometimes, you know, when you're training, you don't condition yourself to throw 30 or 40 punches constantly like that. Sometimes it can take you a round or two to get over that little burst, you know. And it looks to me like Vasilev is taking this round off. Perhaps he feels ah, like he's yeah, comfortably yeah, yeah. ahead. You know, yeah, maybe yeah. he's having a rest in the round. Um, he's looking to throw the occasional right-hand counter back, just straight down the pipe. He's just firing the odd right hand straight back. But for me so far, this round is all Mickey. So what's amazing is even for all the fighting, they're actually quite tactfully thinking. Oh, definitely. I mean, you, you've got to remember that these boys are doing this for two or three hours a day, three or four hours a day, five, six, seven days a week sometimes, you know? And it's it's like anything like that. It becomes instinctive. A little bit like our commentary tonight, man. Oh, it's just all like instinctive. That, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you laughing at? It's my debut. It's my opening night. Jess, Myself. we should get you singing in the ring after this, shouldn't we, really? They're going home I'll sing to them on the bus on the way home. It's another good right hand crept in there from Vasilev, and Mickey's knees just seem to dip a little bit. He can't allow this kid to work like that. Just needs to keep things nice and tight. Twos and threes, step off. Step across the Vasilev's left, away from the right hand. For, for me, another cozy round there. So the next one's going to be, we've got nine and ten to go. I've got Mickey one point behind with two rounds to go. With the knockdown obviously being a 10-8 round to Vasilev, I've got Mickey one point behind with two rounds to go. So, you know, really he needs to win both, the, both of these next rounds to win the fight. Uh, if Vasilev nicks one, it'd be interesting to see which way the judges have scored it. There, there was a couple of tight rounds early on. I mean, it, you know, you could say... Well, I, I agree with him. I mean, he, he's an expert, and what he says is very true. I mean, the, the uh, Mick has got damage on his eye, but of course, that, he doesn't lose points for that. Just because he's got a damaged eye, doesn't lose What do you reckon his trainer's going to be saying to him in the corner right now? They're, they're going to be telling him to just think about what he's doing, keep his hands nice and tight. So step off, give him a few angles, don't be straight in front of him. The thing is with boxing, if you're straight in front sometimes, when, when shots get thrown at you, you instinctively throw back where you think your opponent is going to be. So if they're walking in you straight, and you can virtually shut your eyes and swing for the end swing, and you've, you've got half an idea where they're going to be now. If we're changing the angle, if I'm stepping to the left, I'm stepping to the right, you, right you don't know, if you don't know where I'm going to be, it's hard for you to land shots on me. So, Mickey, sometimes when he gets a bit one dimensional, he just comes forward on a straight line, just like he's doing there, to be honest with you. Now, Vasilev pretty much could have shut his eyes and thrown two or three punches and swing, and he probably would have landed at um, somewhere on Mickey, be it shoulder or arms or gloves or something like that. It's when Mickey just needs to step left, step right, do his work, and then drop his head again, change the angles. And considering this is the last bout, this is a great one to have, isn't it? Oh, again, you've got two evenly matched fighters. You know, it's a good fight. We've had a knockdown so far. We've had a cup. You know, we've had a bit of drama. It's we've tough. had everything. Haven't we? we love yeah, a bit of drama. This is great. We do. We do. You know, it, it's yeah, it's a good fight. I've been, been pretty impressed with the build so far. You know. Uh, the McRae fight earlier was good. Uh, the Alpha Smith was victorious in the first fight. Uh, Sean Watt and Nathan Dow was, was a good fight. The Sam Sexton fight, maybe I was a little bit disappointed that Sexton just seemed happy to coast through it. But again, this, this for me has been a cracking small hole fight. It's been some quality. Three out of four is not bad, is it? It has. It's been a great night, it really has. 
and it's still not over yet. So the corner seems to have done a good job on closing this cut. It's, uh, it's obviously still swollen, but it doesn't seem to be bleeding so much. So they, they, they look to have done a good job on the corner there. Good hook from Mickey there. Good hook from Kovnik. Can hear the corner there shouting to him to tidy up. That's, that's alluding to the point that I was making, that just after he throws his punches, he doesn't get his hands back tight enough sometimes. And that seems to be when Vasilev is countering him, landing and troubling him. Good work from Vasilev there, another right hand, right hand to the body, left hook to the body, right hand to the head, lovely combination, the right hand to the head landed. Again, just, I'm not sure if my eyes are deceiving me, but there just seemed to be a momentary dip in Mickey's knees there when, it, when that right hand landed. It just seemed to dip his knees a touch. Some cracking work there from Coveney, good variety, head and body, some shots up the middle. Again, to me so far it's a Mickey round. A little bit of good work in Spurs from Vasilev, but not enough to win the round so far. Nice head move from Kovny. Again, it's a Kovny round. Wow, so we're coming up for round 10. This is such a tight match, isn't it? Boy, Mickey came back strong there at the end of that round. Really did. But I, st I still don't know uh, where we are with this fight. Well, me, Jess, I've got it all level going into the last yeah, round, yeah, to be honest yeah. with you. I gave the first one to Kovny, the second to Vasilev. Three and four to Kovny and the fifth to Vasilev. Six and seven went to Vasilev as well, with seven being a 10 8 round. And Mickey, I've given the last two. So that makes them all level going into the last round. So it really wow. is on this. We're going to have a big effort from both. You know? And they would, would, would they know that? Would they know where they stand now? Would they know that it's down to the last round? I, I, would, I would think that their comments are going to be telling them that they need to go out in yeah. the last round. We know that it's been a tight fight. Maybe, maybe, just maybe Vasilev thinks that he's a little bit further ahead in the fight because of the knockdown. But for me, Coven is one of the nine completed rounds so far. Um, and obviously the extra points of Vasilev makes about that. All down to the last. All down to the last. Can have a nice cup of tea. Oh, a cup of tea, an Irish cup of tea. Uh, my mum used to say, Go and put the kettle on, Dad. Well, I'm going to have a hot toddy in mine just to help me yeah, sleep tonight. Say, that's the way to go after tonight. But again, for me, Coveney really needs to get on the front foot. I really think he needs this round. He needs to work. He needs to go to work. Go and win the round. Don't let Vasilev steal it on the, on the back foot. To me, it seems like Vasilev, he obviously must feel he's in front or whatever because there's no big effort from him coming. Mickey's walking forward and he's doing his work. You know, not, not, a, particularly, not a particularly strong pace. Vasilev doesn't seem to be working at all, really. He's just not throwing shots at all. He just seems to be content to run. do that can there be like a game plan behind it are they doing it for a purpose or is yeah. it I mean Vasilev may feel that he's far enough in, in front to enable to, to basically give this round away not get stopped not get knocked out and, he's, and he wins the fight he may feel that he's in front with the knockdown um, Mickey is obviously on the front foot I'd like to see a little bit more work rate for him I'd like to see him force the issue a little bit more but for me he's winning the round on aggression Vasilev's running away he's trying to steal the round on the back foot for me so far the better work's come from Mickey I mean they're, they're, they're clearly they're clearly tired the pace has slowed a little bit which it should do I mean they've been at this for nearly half an hour now which is a long time but to me as I say Vasilev seems content to just run away so so far for me I'm giving a round to Mickey on the aggression on the fact that he's the one forcing it if Mickey wasn't throwing any, any punches at the moment Vasilev having the occasional counter, little good left hand on the inside from Coveney on the way in there, just caught Vasilev on the chin. 
Referee's giving it to Coveney. For me, Coveney nicked it. For me, Coveney nicked it, as I say. There was a couple of tight rounds earlier. It'd be interesting to see how the corner scored it, but well pleased for Mickey, as I say. As a, as a gym mate, I'm, I'm well pleased for him. He works hard. Vasilev can may, maybe be a tad disappointed. He was definitely in the fight. Um, he came here, he did a good job. Can be proud of himself. Certainly didn't get disgraced in any way. Almost won the fight in that seventh round with a knockdown, yeah, yeah. which... You know, maybe if he'd have picked his stuff a little bit better, he could have got Mickey out there. Because for a few seconds yeah, yeah. there, he was definitely on unsteady legs. It was but a close fight, definitely. Yeah. All, all uh, in all, and the favourite was really in, in a lot of trouble there. Yeah, definitely. definitely. I mean, all in all, it was a cracking fight for me. Very tight. So it'd be interesting to see how the judges scored it. I've given it to Mickey by a round. Um, but we'll, we'll see. We'll have a listen up and we'll see. He's already put his hands up. Yeah, he, he, he's, he's, he's already raised Mickey. Our, our main sponsor into the ring is the managing director... Obley Baron, Carl Wayman. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Tango, just scores at 95 to your physical position and at 96 to the winner. And exactly the same as me, by. Ladies and gentlemen, Mickey Coveney is the International Masters Champion at Super Featherweight. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, the new 